Aliens. They've gotta be out there, right? More and more stories that insist we are alone pop up online every day. We have satellites, probes, and a giant radio antenna which we've been using for years to find evidence of other life out there beyond the stars. Some people say there's proof that aliens exist and that we're not alone, that the majority of these stories are to hide the truth from us. However, there are stories of people who have run into aliens or seen incredible things or even have real evidence that they exist. Or do they? Find out as we take a look at five people who were caught encountering aliens. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Hilda Blair Ray and Bernard Ray's Photos One of the more interesting stories about people and aliens that isn't well known are the slides of an alien creature possibly from the much talks about Roswell alien crash which happened about 70 years ago. Roswell is the holy grail of alien stories, and it's something that never sleeps when it comes to stories and the speculation that there really was a UFO that crashed in the desert and alien life forms were recovered from the crash. One of the latest chapters in the Roswell saga happened on May 5th, 2015, when two people unveiled color slides that supposedly showed an unusual body in a glass case. But first, how the slides came into their possession is uh, sort of a mystery in itself. The two Kodachrome slides were part of a slide collection, which was found in the garage of a home in Clarksdale, Arizona. This happened back in 1998, when the house was being prepared for sale. And while the garage was being cleaned out, a box, which contained 400 slides, was found. The slides were very interesting and contained some old shots of airplanes and some famous people and even Dwight Eisenhower was in one of the slides. The slide box wasn't in good shape and started to fall apart, which revealed two slides which were wrapped and separated from the others and marked Roswell Slides. The slides ended up being given to a guy named Adam Dew who is a former journalist and has a video production company. Adam then decided that he should investigate the slides and ended up making a documentary about them. He then determined that the slides belonged to a couple named Bernard and Hilda Blair who was apparently well connected, as in best friends with the Eisenhowers type of connected. The slides were examined by different experts, including a Kodak specialist who then dated the slides to the 1940s. He also noted that it would be very hard for someone to replicate the film in the sleeves, so then determined that the slides must be genuine. Adam met with a TV personality and UFO researcher who decided to unveil the slides to the world and came to the conclusion that they were indeed two slides that must have been taken during the Roswell UFO crash era. Could the body in the slides be the remains of the Roswell aliens if they existed? Of course, anything is possible, and so far no one has conclusively disproven their authenticity. Number 4. Navy Pilot and UFO Encounter Many experts and conspiracy theorists agree that some governments must know things that we don't and have seen something of the extraterrestrial nature. Take military jets that are constantly in the air. You would think that some of these guys must have seen unidentified flying objects before during their flights. Actually, it turns out that this kind of stuff has been happening. However, the pilots weren't able to talk about their missions or what they'd seen to the public. These types of things, if they happen, become classified. It wasn't until March of 2018 when a newly declassified video, complete with audio, was released, showing an exchange between two US Navy pilots that apparently encountered a UFO which had no wings and no tail. The two pilots were flying their Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet jet fighter along the East Coast in 2015. In the video, one of the pilots can be heard saying, what is that thing? While the other pilot exclaims, oh my gosh, dude, look at that flying. The craft was apparently doing some unbelievable maneuvers. The 35 second piece of video footage was captured by the infrared camera aboard the FA-18 fighter plane as the jet was traveling at 25,000 feet. The piece of footage was released by a group called To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science, which is a private scientific research and media group led by a NASA and US Department of Defense advisor by the name of Hal Puthoff and a former CIA official named James Semivan. Of course, the Department of Defense declined to make any comment on the video. 
This video came out soon after two other declassified videos came out that had UFO sightings by US Navy pilots. In that encounter, the pilots, Commander Jim Slate and Pilot David Fravor, described seeing an oval-shaped object hovering over the sea as they were flying across the Southern California coast in their F-A-18F Super Hornets in 2004. The interesting thing is that the pilots said the aircraft had no exhaust plumes, no wings or rotors, but that it outran their F-18s, and added, I want to fly one. It would seem that Navy pilots have been flying around with UFOs for quite some time. It would also seem that the US government may be hiding some things they don't want us to know. Number 3. Alien Abduction on Google Earth a person who's a UFO spotter has come forward, claiming that Google Earth satellites caught him in a fist fight with gray aliens who were trying to abduct him. If that doesn't sound a little bit crazy, nothing will. The man, John Mooner, argues, with who we aren't sure, that images that were caught on the tech giant satellite show him brawling with aliens who were trying to abduct him and take him aboard a UFO, possibly for experiments. He offered no factual scientific evidence except for the grainy satellite images which were taken from thousands of miles away. John claims that the images are amazing evidence of an alien abduction. He claims he was having trouble with the Google Earth app which was installed on his PC and searched for another online option and found Google Satellite Maps instead. He was doing this so he could find the area where he spotted a UFO from last year and was trying to find something out of the ordinary. He says he was left speechless by what he saw. He claims that the satellites are proof of a real alien abduction which is taking place and that the footage is him being abducted by a gray alien and him trying to fight off the alien by punching it in the face. In looking at the image, he explains that the alien blocked his punch and grabbed his fist to subdue him. The thing is, he doesn't remember the incident taking place at all, but on the other hand, he went looking for Google satellite images for the incident. So what's really going on here? Only Scott Waring knows. The abductee does say that he remembers sporadic episodes of missing time throughout the year 2016 and says that he does remember wearing the black baseball cap and the shirt that's in the images and says it's definitely him. He further tells the story of being spotted by three UFOs and that they were heading in his direction. The UFOs resemble the UFO which was filmed over Nellis Air Force Base and he claims that these UFOs were coming to pick him up and that his images are undeniable proof. What do you think about this story? Is it real or a hoax? Number 2. Dr. Jonathan Reed Case Here is the bizarre story of a man who claims that he found a UFO and an alien, and then apparently did an alien autopsy. The man's name is Dr. Reed, and he was taking his dog for a walk in the Cascade Mountains. While on the walk, the dog started to bark at something and took off running towards whatever it was. The dog's barking became more intense and even started to frighten Dr. Reed. He thought that maybe his dog got into a fight with some wild animal like a bobcat or a bear, grabbed a tree branch, and went to fight off whatever it was that the dog was fighting with. When he came into the clearing where his dog was, he could not believe his eyes. He says that he saw a creature which was vibrating and quickly moving and stood about four and a half feet tall. It had grabbed his dog, but we won't go into the gory details, but to say that the dog was turned into white ash from being vaporized. Dr. Reed tried to get the creature's attention and started yelling at it. The creature then looked over at Reed with a cold and frightening stare, but Reed was charging at the creature with the big piece of tree he picked up and hit the creature in the head with it. The blow knocked the creature to the ground unconscious, and Reed thought that he had killed the creature. He then fell to the ground and felt as if he was having a heart attack, which lasted about an hour and a half. After the shock had worn off and he started to regain his strength, he noticed that he had heard something that was making a humming sound. He followed the sound until he came upon some strange hovering black UFO. At this point, he realized that he had to get his camera and start taking pictures or no one would believe what he had just seen. It was starting to get dark and Reed was in the middle of the forest and knew he had to get out. He went back to where the alien lay and wrapped it up in his thermal blanket and then dragged it back to his car. Once home, he stored the creature in a large freezer to preserve it, knowing it was the find of the century. The next morning, he awoke to a scratching sound coming from the freezer and pulled the alien out and moved it to his living room and took the blanket off. During this time, he was videotaping the whole thing. Reed then decided to do an autopsy of the alien and recorded the whole thing. 
Soon after, many strange things started happening, and Dr. Reed was harassed by the government and claims that some people have tried to assassinate him over the entire event. However, in 2016, when the story was resurrected online, he claims that the alien had escaped his home. Number 1. Evelyn and Paul Trent Alien Encounter One of the best pieces of UFO evidence that's ever been caught on camera is a photo which was shot 68 years ago by Evelyn and Paul Trent as the UFO flew over their farm ranch in Oregon, USA. One of the things to point out is that the photo was taken with a Kodak camera using real film, and this is what makes people believe that the photo's legit and not just some hoax. A UFO expert says that the Trent photographs are the most plausible when it comes to sorting out the real stuff from the fake. The photographs were taken on May 11th, 1950, in the evening. Evelyn had said that as she was walking towards her house, she saw a flying metal disc in the sky moving towards her. She ran to her husband, who grabbed his Kodak camera and took two photos of it. Did the Trents really take a photograph of the first UFO sighted ever? Many experts have tried to debunk the photographs, but have been unable to. But if there are aliens out there, where are they all hiding? Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers! If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. There will be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.